Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a tag, tag video and this is the makeup shopping tag and this is made by Chic Geek. I will leave her video and channel down in the description but I saw this at Beauty Beans channel. She did a collab with Anya. I will leave their videos down as well and this is I think it's 10 questions. I am so prepared always. This is 10 questions about shopping makeup and I think we just get started. I got some hair here. Question number one. Where do you shop for makeup? And I mostly shop from... I don't really know right now. Before it was like Beauty Bay and Kix. But I shop a lot from the brand's own stores because I shop pretty much in the makeup and then the brands have their own store like Colourpop and Blush Tribe and stuff like that and then I buy from their own web shop. But other than that it's Beauty Bay and Kicks. Question number two. What is your budget? High end or drugstore prices? And okay I have to start to be I have to start to think a little bit before I start to speak, so not every sentence starts with uh, uh. Uh, If my budget is high-end or drugstore prices. And that's depend what you count as high-end. I don't want to spend too much money, but I don't have the problem to spend much money. If you get what I mean. But it really depends on what the product is. For like maybe a foundation. I do not want to pay like $40 for a foundation. Because I'm not doing that. Because I know there is super good cheaper foundations. And also for concealers. I will never buy concealer for like $40. I'm not doing that. And not like for powder or anything. But for like eyeshadow palettes and other products, it really depends on if it is an indie brand, I am okay to spend a little bit more just to support the indie brand. I can buy an eyeshadow palette for say like $30, an indie brand. I am totally okay, but I maybe don't want to spend that money on a palette from NYX. If I want a product and I want to support the brand, I can pay a little bit more. But I don't want to pay high-end prices for just a brand. I don't even know if I answered that question good, but I hope you get what I mean. Question number three. Do you shop more online or in store? And I, like, always shop online. I live in Sweden and the town that I live in, we don't have a Sephora. And we don't have a big selection of makeup in our kicks store. We have two kicks stores here where I live. We have Anastasia and that's like the most fun brand we have. We have some Urban Decay things but that's all. So I buy a lot online. I buy most of my things online. It's maybe foundations and other things that I want to see the color that I don't buy online but everything else I buy online. So mostly online. Question number four. Do you go makeup shopping with other people? And no. I am a loner. <laughs> and also... Is this really bad lighting? Did I just realize that? <sighs> Shit. Um, okay. Um... Do you go makeup shopping with others? And I, as I said, I mostly buy makeup online. So no. I do not. If I is in a city where there is a Sephora... I think we have five Sephora stores in Sweden. Mm -hmm. And if I'm in a city that has a Sephora and I am with a friend, we may go into Sephora just to check on Sephora. But no, I I think I'd rather so shop makeup on my own. Okay, and question number five. How do you talk yourself out of a purchase? And as you know, I'm on a low buy and it feels like I'm that's everything I talk about right now. 
but I I think I'm gonna answer like the same that Betty Jean answered I wait I sleep on it and if I don't want it that much when I wake up it was nothing and I think that's my only way to don't purchase things it's just wait to have some patience and see do I really want this as much as I think I do so yeah that's my that's how I don't shop too much I wait question number six what makeup product is your favorite to buy and hands down it's eyeshadow palettes I love to buy new eyeshadow palettes and have something new to play with and get inspired by something new so hands down eyeshadow palettes it's the most fun thing to buy question number seven what brand are you loyal to and I am super loyal to Linda Halberg I have bought everything they have released except for the eyeliner because I didn't if I was not on a low buy I think I would buy it but now I am on a low buy so I didn't bought it so I'm really um, loyal to Linda Halberg and I don't know if I'm loyal to any other brands There's no other brand that I buy all the things from. But say for like Menagerie Cosmetics, I have soon free palettes from them. And it's very expensive for me to buy from them. But I don't care. I need to pay shipping and customs. I want to su support the owner. So I don't care about that. So maybe I'm a little bit loyal to them and I don't think there is no more brand. Question number eight. What other things do you spend fun money on? <laughs> fun money. I spend a lot of money on... What do I even spend my money on? Sometimes I'm like, what the hell do I spend money on? Before it was skincare. Me and my boyfriend would spend a lot of money on food. That's fun food because we like to eat good food and go out and eat. So maybe we spend more money on food than the average people. So maybe on food and then I spend... No more fun money. <laughs> because... One reason for my low buy this year was that me and my boyfriend we are saving up for to buy a house. So this year it's minimum on spending fun money. Question number nine. Who influenced you to buy the most makeup? And I don't really know. It is of course YouTube that influenced me to buy makeup. But also now I know what I like. And I know what I want. Before it was like I bought everything. Now I know what I want. So I don't really know who influenced me to buy my most of makeup. I can say YouTube but I don't really know who on YouTube that inspired me to buy the most of my makeup. I have some people that I watch and that I consider as friends. That I... We have, we think the same, so maybe they influence me a bit, but it's like the whole YouTube, the little beauty community that I think I am a part of that inspires me to buy the most makeup I buy, so super bad answer to that question as well. And question number 10, what was your last purchase? And I have to check. I think it was something that I haven't told you about. Okay, the last thing I purchased that was not for myself, that was cat food. <laughs> but the thing before that, I buy, bought the Futurism collection from Kaleidos Cosmetic. Yes, I did that. I caved. Um, so that was the last thing I bought. Except for food that I bought last night. 
that is at least when I'm filming this and I'm not planning Linda Holberg when I'm filming this she's coming out with two new one new product I think so maybe it's that one but when I'm recording this is the Kaleidos Futurism collection and that was all the questions and I think this was a fun tag and I really hope you liked this video and if you want to do it I will leave the question down in the description and I hope I will see you in the next one and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so don't miss any of my videos. Bye!